Hey everyone, good evening. This is Manjeet Rawat, your online instructor and welcome to my YouTube class. I'm super excited to inform you that I'm planning to add a new playlist on my YouTube channel. And uh, this playlist is totally different from another playlist that I already uploaded my YouTube channel so far. Basically, this playlist based on the important content and those contents are really important for every organization. I'm talking about the mailing services and you know that in mailing services, Microsoft 365, Office 365 is a one of important mailing service provided uh, that help us to fulfill entire requirement of any organization. It may be IT or non-IT organization. But you know that over a Microsoft 365 or Office 365, you know that n number of topics that we need to learn, right? If you want to be expert in Microsoft 365, definitely you need to learn multiple certification based content. So what I did in this particular playlist, I have already created a content, customized content as per the market requirement, as per the client's requirement, or you can say that as per the project requirement. You're aware about the mailing services. Now Microsoft 365 introduced new dashboard for the mailing services. Before that, we are using Office 365 services, but now they changed the name of our Office 365 and now Office 365 become Microsoft 365. Huge gap between the Microsoft 365 and Office 365, right? You know very well about. Actually, in case of Office 365, you know that no name of our, uh, you can say that service provider. That's why they changed the, the, the one difference between Office 365 and Microsoft 365. In Microsoft 365, we are easily able to identify the providers, right? Not only the name, not only the introduction of a company name, they added multiple security feature in Microsoft 365 portal that help us to protect, to protect our mailboxes, to protect our uh, accounts and uh, our mailing services as well. They added a Microsoft Defender. They updated lots of things related to uh, Microsoft Defender. They added multiple services. Those services can help us to track or trace the mailing services, to protect the mailing services. Okay, so let me introduce the content that I'm planning. You know that if you are preparing yourself for the Microsoft 365, uh, you, if you have already did multiple interviews related to the Microsoft 365, so I hope you know properly, you, you know very well about the course interviewer asked you in your uh, uh, interview. I'm talking about migration, which is really important. I'm talking about the Microsoft Defender, Microsoft uh, Exchange EOP, Exchange Online Protection, Spam Filtering, Anti-Phishing and Threat Protection. So in this module, in this playlist, I design a customized course that uh, fulfill your requirement, right? So I'm going to show you the topics that I'm going to cover in the entire playlist. So let's move ourselves to the dashboard and uh, screen and give you the proper information about the content that I'm going to cover in this playlist. So before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so please do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skipping any step. So now I'm going to move ourselves to system screen, advanced Microsoft 365 course. The key point of this particular playlist, I'm going to focus on security, migration, hybrid setup environment, and about the conditional access. N number of policies are available in conditional access service, you know that. I'm going to give you the A1, A to Z, A to Z uh, implementation process and the impact of your conditional access policy. Talk about the topics that we will cover in this particular uh, module or in this particular playlist. So first step, I'm going to start from the very basic like Microsoft 365 Admin Center. You know that the admin center can help us to create users, groups that help you to assign the roles to your user about the billing related activity, improve the license, change the license. It will help you in case of domain adding. If you want to add your own custom domain, the admin center will help you. It will support it. It will give us an option of support that you can 
directly coordinate with Microsoft team to discuss about your requirement. Or uh, you can also share the, uh, the issues related to your portal directly to the Microsoft team. Once we complete the part of admin center, we will move ourselves to the Microsoft intra admin center. The meaning of intra admin center, you know that now as you ready become an intra admin center. We will discuss about the each and every point related to the Azure Active uh, Directory, like what is Azure AD, how we can manage the users and group over Azure Active Directory panel. We'll discuss about the tenant, how we can manage the tenant, create multiple tenant and share the tenant with another users, devices, application, protection, security and identity. We'll talk about the multi-factor authentication. We'll discuss about the SSPR service, how we can manage the SSPR. You know that Azure Active Directory contain their own license. I'm talking about Microsoft 365, sorry, P2 license, Premium 2 license and Mobility plus Security E5 license that help you to manage Microsoft Intune services. I'll try to give you 100% practical based uh, content that you can uh, that, that you can use my videos to resolve the real time issues. Next, once we complete the part of uh, our uh, uh, intra admin center will give you the complete information about uh, AD Connect hybrid setup. As you know that Azure AD is a total separate part, right? Azure Active Directory is a separate part and Azure AD Connect that help you or introduce you how we can manage our hybrid environment, right? The meaning of hybrid environment, for example, you establish your on-premises domain controller on server 2016, 2019, uh, 2022 and you are trying to synchronize the users from on-premises AD to Azure Active Directory then Azure AD Connect can help you. So with the help of Azure AD Connect tool will synchronize the entire users from on-premises AD to Azure Active Directory. N number of services are available in Azure AD like as a password hash synchronization, password write back, pass through authentication, SSO single sign in, single sign on and uh, ADFS Federation services that help us to manage the SSO with high security and we'll talk about the conditional access, Azure AD join, multi-factor authentication and SSVR services, right? So once we complete the part of uh, Azure AD hybrid setup, Exchange Admin Center, one of important part. The meaning of Exchange Admin Center that provide lots of options like mail flow, one of the important service of uh, mailing services of 365 portal with the help of mailing services or with the help of mail flow, you are able to understand about how mail can, how we can send a mail to any recipient or how we can access the mail or receive the mail from the another recipient. So if you have a much idea about the mail flow, definitely you are able to resolve any issues related to the Office 365 mailing services. Right. So I'm giving you, I'm, I'm, go, I'm going to give you the complete information about uh, uh, mail flow services. After that, we'll talk about the mailboxes, the meaning of mailboxes, how many types of mailboxes are available. I'm talking about the primary mailbox, archive mailbox, you know that, share mailbox. We'll discuss about the each and every types of mailboxes that are available over a 365 portal. We'll talk about the migration, five different types of migrations are available. I'm going to give you the pr complete practical of migration services, how we can migrate the mails from one premises to 365, how we can migrate the mails from the GoDaddy to Microsoft 365 or Google Workspace to the Microsoft 365. We'll discuss about the roles, mobile, insights and settings which are available on Exchange Admin Center. Then. We'll move ourselves to the Microsoft 365 Defender. This is a separate port security.microsoft.com. It's another dashboard that dashboard can help you to understand about the security or protection of our user account. Means how we can protect our user environment. So in this uh, uh, module, you can say that we will discuss about the incident and uh, uh, alerts. Means how we can create an alert for any mailbox or user account. We'll discuss about the threats, secure sources, threats tracker, anti-phishing, anti-spam, like these all are the topics that we will cover in case of Microsoft 365 Defender. So this is complete package, right? In this, in this, in this uh, playlist, I'm going to giving, I'm going to give you the complete package as per the market requirement. 
and make sure if you are able to understand if you complete the entire videos of this particular playlist 100% you are able to crack any Microsoft 365 interview any kind of Microsoft 365 based interview like L1, L1 plus, L2 and L3 level. So this is the introduction video guys and I'm going to start and adding video in this particular playlist as soon as possible. I'll, I'll, I'll try to complete the entire playlist within 15 days. So please do subscribe guys and share with your office colleagues and friends and please support your on YouTube channel Teach Me Cloud. I'll try, I'll, I'll always try to give you the quality based content. Thank you so much guys. Take care. Bye bye. And do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Bye bye guys.